Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum and this is me Abu Muhammad Chaudhary and welcome to Army Maths class. Today we are going to start our first math class and our topic is going to be Roundup. So let's not delay anymore and let's begin. Rounding up basically means to turn a number to its nearest thousand, hundred, ten or one. Rounding up basically means turning a number to its nearest thousand, hundred or thousand, hundred, ten or one. So when we are going to turn a number, when we are given a number of three or four digit, we always have to look at the second digit while we are turning it to the nearest thousand or hundred. First of all, you have to understand that the, the number can be of three digit, two digit, four digit or five digit or even six digit. It doesn't matter. But when we are going to give a, when we are going to turn it to the first significant figures, for four digit it means to the nearest thousand when we are going to turn a number or convert a number to its nearest thousand we have to look at the second digit of the number if that number is greater than five or five or greater than five then we have to turn it to the nearest thousand or nearest uh, so next thousand or next hundred and if the number is less than thousand or less than five or is less than five then we have to turn the number or turn the convert the number to its previous thousand or hundred. Let's see some examples. See here for rounding up, if the second digit is five or more than five, we will turn it to the next thousand or hundred. If it is less than five, then we are going to turn it to the previous thousand or hundred. For example, we have taken a random number, which is 3504, 3504. See, when we are going to turn it to the first significant figure or, or, or we can say one significant figure then we are going to turn it to the nearest thousand right for the first digit is three which is in the place value of thousand right then this means that the first significant or the one significant figure we are going to turn up is going to be thousand it's either going to be three thousand or it's going to be four thousand now how will we identify that it's going to be 3000 or it is going to be 4000 now we have to look at the second digit what is the second digit the second digit is 5 as we have known in previous and as it is written about that when the number or the second digit is going to be 5 or more than 5 we are going to convert it to the next thousand and the next thousand is 4000 see that's how it is going to work and see the second for the second significant figure for the two significant figure we are going to turn it to the next hundred why we are going to turn it to the previous hundred why see the third digit here is zero right the third digit is zero which which means that it is closer to 500 then it is closer to 600 so we are converting to second significant we are converting it to 3500 for first significant you have to look at the first digit was significant or one significant means that it can it represents the first digit of the number if the first digit is in the place value of 100 then we are going to turn it to the nearest 100 if the first value or the first digit is in the place value of 1000 then we are going to transfer it to the nearest thousand here the number is the first digit is nearest thousand right so now we are going to turn it to the nearest thousand and the nearest thousand is four thousand and the second digit is in the place value of hundreds and the third digit we when we are going to turn or when we are going to convert a number to first significant four second significant third significant or one significant two significant three significant we are going to always look at the next digit so for the first significant we are going to see the second digit for the second significant we are going to see the third digit and for the three significant figure we are going to see the last digit so any guess what can be the third significant figure or what can be the answer of three significant figures See, the third significant figure for the number 3504 is 3500, not 3510. The reason is that 04 is closer to 0 than to 10. The difference from 10 to 04 is 06. The difference to 
the difference from 0 0 to 0 4 is 4 so we are going to take the closest distance from both zeros or from the both ends we are going to see the closest distance or we are going to see if the number is more than 5 or 5 see the fourth digit here is 4 which is 1 less than 5 which means we are going to convert it to the previous 100 so the previous tens is our previous 100 is our 3500 let's see some other numbers please look carefully what i have written on the board that for any four digit number the when we are going to have any four digit number and it is going the question is asking us to convert it or to turn it up to one significant two significant and three significant what does it mean for any four digit number one significant means nearest thousand it can be the previous thousand it can be the next thousand depending on the second digit right if the second digit is five or greater than five it is going to convert to the next thousand and if the second digit is less than five then it is going to turn up to the previous thousand now come to the two significant figures in four digit number two significant figures always means nearest hundred to in four significant figure or any four, any four digit number it means that the second significant always or the two significant always means that to convert it to the nearest hundred uh, same rule applies here also that if the third digit here is 5 or greater than 5 we are going to convert it to the next hundred and if the value or the 5 or if the value of the second digit or the third digit is less than 5 then we are going to convert it to the previous hundred and same goes with the third significant or the three significant figure then we are going to convert it to the nearest chain for four significant figures or four digit number for four digit number three significant means nearest chain see for any three digit number when we are going to convert it to the one significant figure it means we are going to convert it to the nearest hundred and same rule like the four digit number applies here also when we are going to convert the three digit number into one significant figure then we have to look at the second digit of that number if that number is more than five then five or more than five then we are going to convert it to the nearest so next hundred for example if the value is 350 if the value is given 350 and you have been asked to convert it to one significant figures your answer should be 400 not 300 the answer should be three, 400 not 300 and if the value is even 360 then also your value is going to be of one significant figure is going to be 400 not 300 now let's come to the point that if the question has given you a number like 342 or 339 then what you are going to do are you going to convert it to the nearest next 100 or the previous 100 of course we are going to convert it to the previous 100 right 329 has less distance from 400 than 300 right the only difference the difference between 300 and 329 is 29 but the difference between 400 to 329 is much more bigger than 29 so we are going to take the shortest distance or we are going to follow this rule and the same rule applies for these two also for the two significant figures and the three significant figures now let us see some uh, numbers which we are going to round up see we have taken two numbers and the question is going to be like this round up the following round up the following numbers to one significant two significant and three significant you can be asked for four significant but that's rare case but that's very rare case it's not gonna come you can either write like this by giving comma or semicolon yeah, first write the first significant then write the second significant and then write the third significant or you can give separate subheadings like one significant then write the answer then give one finger space then write the two significant then write the answer then give one finger space then write three significant and then write the answer of three significant see here the first number we have been given is a four digit number which is 5306 the one significant uh, when we are going to turn up this on uh, or round up this number to one significant figures the answer comes 5000 it is because the second number second digit is three not five 
which is less than 5. This means that we have to round up to the previous 1000 and we did which is 5000. And now let's come to the say, two significant figures. See, for converting it to two significant figure, we have to look at the third digit. The third digit is 0 which is also less than 5. Now we are going to convert it to the previous 100 which is 5300. Now see, we have to convert it to three significant figures. For converting to three significant figures of any four digit, we have to look at the fourth digit. The fourth digit is 6 which is more than 5. And we have converted to the nearest, sorry, next 10 which is 5310. And now see the next number which is 7520, 7520 which is 7520. We have also been asked to round up this number in the same way we did the first. So one significant is going to be 8000. That's obvious because we just we know that the number, the second digit is 5. And we know the rule. If the number is 5 or more than 5, we are going to convert it to the next 1000. And we did. Now come to the point that we are going to have to convert this, the same number 7520 uh, 75, to two significant figures. Now, the value of two significant figures is 7500. How? We are going to look at the third digit. The third digit is 2, which is less than 5, which is less than 5. That's why it has been, it has converted to the previous 100, which is 7500. Now, we are going to have to convert to it to three significant figures. What converting into three significant figures, we are looking at the fourth digit. The fourth digit is zero, which is less than five. So we are we are keeping the same number, and the same number is going to be the number for three significant figures, and that is all about rounding. We are going to start a new ex exercise tomorrow in the next class, inshallah. So. Let's end the class today. Assalamu alaikum everyone and stay safe.